Today, we shall be discussing the difference between the cost audit and the financial audit. See, in practice, it may seem that the word cost audit and financial audit be a little similar but in principle in definition there is a major difference between these two now the first difference i would relate is towards the meaning of the two terms cost audit is the verification of the correctness of the cost accounts right now audit in general the word audit itself means the verification or the correctness right in cost audit we are related to only cost accounts okay uh, nowhere else in the system will i manage to go other than the cost account so a cost auditor he has to check the efficiency correctness and the verification of what only of the cost accounts and either are they in compliance with the cost accounting plan your cost accounts are they up to the mark and of course he'll be giving suggestions for the same but the financial audit is the systematic impartial examination of the finance books and reports in order to express opinion about it now what does the meaning of impartial here means you cannot be biased towards your system you have to be a third party who will be just examining the books of account whether have you made them properly the profit and loss account the general the statements the balance sheet are they all in accordance are you trying to evade certain tax are you uh, trying to hide certain items just to make money out of it so this is financial audit so i repeat that cost audit is related to the correctness of the cost accounts okay and here the financial auditor he is going to examine your financial books are they up to the mark is everything okay and he has to express opinion on it definitely that everything is up to the mark your books are normal you are not hiding something you are not trying to evade your tax you are not trying to shoo away the profits okay so the first difference relates to the meaning of the two terms now who performs these audits cost audit is performed by a qualified cost accountant now if you want to audit the cost records you yourself have to be a cost accountant na it is not a layman or a passer by and my he can go and just go through your books of account it's not he has to be well versed in all the cost accounting techniques in all the cost records he himself must be well aware financial auditor he has to be a qualified practicing chartered accountant only then he can perform the financial audit next difference comes to the purpose of the audit why do you conduct cost audit why do you conduct financial audit and what are the primary objectives of these two now the purpose of cost audit is to properly examine the various elements of the cost at each and every stage of production we are discussing in this the cost auditor he has to examine each and every stage per what is the cost at every angle at every element when you when you are product, producing certain item every stage will add on to the value now you have to examine the cost at every stage it is not in a nutshell you will just examine okay the cost of production of this each and every segment each and every stage will be checked the aim behind is to minimize the cost of production auditor has to see if the cost records have been properly maintained he will be checking whether now his main motto will be just for the cost nothing else he will further verify if the cost has been asserted in accordance with the cost accounting principles whether the cost of production has been properly worked out so the primary objective of the cost audit is to find the element of cost to examine it to define it and to make out at every add on stage of producing your commodity how much cost has been incurred and whether these cost accounts are in compliance with your cost accounting principles now coming over to financial audit he verifies while whether the financial accounts profit and loss account and the balance sheet they represent true fair state of the affairs of the company as i told you in the previous slide that you are not trying to hide anything you are not trying to deflate your profit 
and evade your tax so that has to be examined by the financial auditor now what is the scope definitely cost audit has a wider scope why because he can go to the extent of verification of cost records that too is must as well as your financial records uh, no doubt his basic dilemma is the cost of the production but he can very well go and check your financial records also but the main motive behind that examining financial records will be to concentrate in a better way on the cost technique to find the cost the financial auditor he has nothing to do with how much cost have you evaluated is the cost being determined in an icer way no he just restricts his work to the financial side whether to see your profit and loss account your trading account and your balance sheet has been in accordance with the basic principles okay now next covers manufacturing units only see cost audit is confined to manufacturing processing and industrial units it does not cover the commercial and service organizations uh, cost audit is not at all mandatory for every type of enterprise or every type of organization no only the manufacturing the processing and industrial units they come under cost audit now who all for which all terms cost audit is important i have made a separate article on it okay now so we conclude that cost audit is just for these units and for every enterprise cost audit is not mandatory now coming over to financial audit it includes all the industries business commercial establishment service organizations everywhere you will find that financial audit is mandatory you have to get an impartial examination of your accounts to statutorily de define that your accounts are up to the mark now transactional aspects is the next difference cost auditor locates the means of reducing the cost of production from the cost records as well as from the financial records now the cost auditor just as i told you he will be calculating your cost whether at every stage of production you have determined the proper cost and at the same time he will tell you how to reduce your cost of production in a way how to maximize your profit for that you first step will be to reduce your cost of production right this will be suggested to you by the cost auditor now the financial auditor he just verifies the transactional aspects of the accounts are your accounts okay is your balance sheet okay only those aspects are covered by the financial auditor now the appointment cost auditor is appointed by the board of directors and the financial auditor he is appointed by the shareholders next is the submission of the auditor's report this cost audit report is will be submitted only to the board of directors of the company and it may go to the central government as well but the financial auditor he submits his report to the shareholders now information to the shareholders cost auditor does not provide any information to the shareholders he only submits his report to the board of directors but the financial auditor he checks the various accounts all the records financial accounts of the company and he provides their information the required information to the shareholders as well so the difference lies between providing the information to the shareholders in both these terms next is checking of the arithmetical accuracy see the cost auditor verifies whether the adequate steps have been taken to reduce the cost of production he has to check at every stage to control the wastage leakage fraud or not have you taking are you taking the adequate steps to control all these measures in order to reduce your cost of production now the financial auditor he as i told you he is not related to the production process he checks the arithmetical accuracy of different books of account which include the journal ledger cash book purchase book sales book all that and verifies if the management decisions are properly implemented or not right so this is a different concept and this is a different concept now the next speaks the compulsion cost audit is mandatory but only to the selected industries which come under the cost audit rules it is not as i told you in the previous slide every organization doesn't need to have conduct the cost audit but in the case of financial audit it is compulsory for all categories of joint stock companies now need of the audit see cost audit is necessary because it brings in the irregularities in the knowledge of the management to take remedial actions for the cost reduction 
it may be quite possible that in certain organizations the management is unaware of the frauds of the wastages and the leakages which are happening now if you are unaware you cannot take action to reduce the cost right these these the cost audit will bring in the knowledge of the management let that look this so and so is happening and you please take action regarding it so it's a very big advantage of the cost audit it also benefits the trade unions industrial tribunals the government it helps to frame suitable policies in the interest of the consumers and the workers it's a very important tool in the hands of management because as i told you it brings into highlight in the eyes of the management to take certain steps to reduce the cost of production now the financial audit is required under the companies act and further it is also required to check the misappropriations frauds evasions errors in your books of account next place of work the cost auditor works in the factory and here his job is in the office because he has just to give uh, the he has to examine the books of account so he will be sitting in his office and doing the work whereas this person has to go and run in the factory at every stage of production he has to examine what is happening how is happening right next valuation of closing stock it's an important feature the cost auditor shall only advise on the adequacy of the closing stock keeping in view the needs of the enterprise now certain industries they need to keep the closing stock ready so that they may earn as and when the price rises that closing stock will be shifted right so he will be providing you the advices on have you kept your closing stock in the right proportion whereas it is the duty of the financial auditor to check if the closing stock has been properly valued you understand the difference further to check if the closing stock has been shown correctly in the balance sheet right now he will tell you whether you are maintaining the proper closing stock or you are unaware of the fact that if you maintain it properly you may reap more profits you know supposedly it is required is very good if you keep closing stock in hand as and when the price rises you can just uh, sell that stock first right but here he will just see whether how much closing stock is there in your godown have you shown it in the balance sheet or you are just trying to hide it or you are trying to evade it this is financial auditor's duty if the prop then no, certain people what they do is just to show pro less profits in your books of account they will not value the closing stock properly they will show it of a very little value right so financial auditor will make it sure that has the closing stock been shown at its proper value you so, so i hope i made the things clear valuation of closing stock in both these audits now the next is the period of the audit cost audit may be taken for a particular year and for a specified company you can you any year you can take it and for that particular company this proper is the time to conduct it you can get it conducted but financial audit is conducted every year in all the companies because it is mandatory in the companies act it is not that you can choose the time you can choose which segment no it is mandatory financial audit is mandatory you have to have to get it conducted now measurement of the efficiency the cost audit throws light on the efficiency of the organization whether the production is at the right speed and at the right cost now it can be quite possible that your process of production is going at such a slow pace that ultimately it is hindering your profits they are affecting your cost of production so whether the production is at the right pace only then the cost also will be proper right only then your profits also will be affected in a way but financial audit he doesn't measure the efficiency of the organization as the amount of the profit shown is not the real indication of the efficiency no doubt just as i told you that financial auditor tries to make it sure that the proper profits are being shown and revealed in your balance sheet but that may be that may not be first of all the, here the term efficiency of the organization means that he is not going to check your stages of production whether your production is going at the right pace and whether you are trying to reduce your cost he is not concerned with it a part second part is that however hard he may try that you are not trying to evade your tax you are not trying to diminish show the diminished profit still it is not an indication of the efficiency people are efficient enough to fake their accounts and to show the profits on the lesser side got it next point backward and forward 
cost audit refers to the past and also helps in decision making in the future it is forward looking as well no doubt the cost audit you are getting done for your manufacturing unit so whatever you have produced have you produced it at the right stage at the right cost no doubt it refers to the past and it is forward looking as well because he'll be giving you suggestions on how to reduce your cost at every stage of production right but the financial audit it is actually looking backward like a post mortem examination he is not concerned with your future or suggestion for your future plans or how to make your accounts no he is just going to see whether you have recorded everything in your profit and loss account that is it right so here we come to the end of the article i hope i have made the things very clear to you in case you have any doubts regarding today's article you are free to ask me in the comment section more than welcome for that please like and subscribe to my channel thank you for watching stay safe stay blessed